How to create a high dynamic range image at sunset. Oh wait, pff, definitely not that, we're doing twilight. All right, well I'm here in La Jolla, um, down by the beach at sunset, as you can see. Look, sunset. But uh, the point of today is to do an HDR at sunset with solar flares from the sun in your photo, but it has a high dynamic range photo. So we get one shot at this because, yeah, basically sunsets, that's it. So I will not be teaching you guys an HDR at sunset this time because I completely botched that, but um, I'll go ahead and show you what I got and I will stay and do an HDR, but it will be a twilight HDR instead with no sun, but make it look like glass. Make the ocean look like glass. It'd be ridiculous. But here's some of the shots that I took. They suck. They're all blown out. <laughs> look, blown out. All of them. Every single one, except for where I first started. Wait, that's, no, that's me recording. Oops. That's from a different night. Um, here we go. Yep, yep. See? All blown out. All blown out. Except for these. That was when I first started. But let's, uh, let's wait. All right, as you can see, on my A7R Mark II, I have the zebra settings on to show me what's overexposed within the photo. As currently, I'm shooting an F22 at uh, ISO 50 and at 15 seconds, as you can see. The reason for this being is I want this photo to start the series of photos I'll use for my HDR merge. This will be the first one, okay? So this one has to be underexposed. And then from there, I'll move up in seconds to overexposure just because that will allow me to get the most amount of light in and it'll allow to lock in the uh, the effects that I want from the uh, remaining clouds as you can see and I'll kind of pan up so you can see see there's still kind of a uh, a hue from the Sun uh, hitting the atmosphere so we still got a little bit of color in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get that in the photo So we're here in Lightroom and we're going to go ahead and look at the three photos that I selected out of the five that I took um, to go ahead and merge. So the first one is, I shot at ISO 50, 30 millimeters with my telephoto lens at f22 at 15 seconds. The next one is ISO 50 at 30 millimeters, f22, 30 seconds. Same thing, same ISO, same millimeters, same f-stop. However, this one is 277 seconds. I did this on bulb mode. If your camera allows you to shoot at bulb mode, um, that allows you to control how long the shutter is open um, in terms of length. So beyond the 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 seconds, um, you'll find bulb mode. Um, in the shutter settings within your uh, camera if, it, if it's capable of doing that. Um, but let's go ahead and merge these and then we'll go ahead and look at the uh, merge itself uh, once it's done. But this one should be relatively quick um, just due to the fact that there's three images. There's not anything more than that. Anything more than that, it's gonna take a lot, lot longer. Um, because the software within Lightroom is compressing all those images and all of that data is getting compressed. So, 
Um, here it is, right? Um, there are abnormalities within the image itself, but that's due to the fact that my uh, I didn't have the lens cap on um, because I was shooting for such a long time and the ocean was throwing up water and mist, which got onto the lens and then caused those. But I'll go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and fix this in light in uh, Photoshop. Sorry, not in Lightroom, but in Photoshop. I'll go in and I'll go ahead and clean these up, um, and then I'll go ahead and uh, share the final image when it's done um, at the end of this video. So it's gonna take about a couple days, but I'll get it done and uh, so I can get this video out and show you guys. But uh, let's go ahead and merge that. So um, it does take a little time, as you can see. I said the more images you have, the longer it takes because it's the more data. Um, the software is compressing into one image. Uh, as well as when we do panoramic HDR, when I show you guys how to do that, um, it's going to take a lot longer in terms of everything. So I will definitely show that to you when it's done. Um, I got some work on to do on it, uh, but this is, uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Come on computer, work. Um, all right. Oh, wait, 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 there it is, there it is, right there. So that's the um, the HDR or the DNG file after the merge. So we're here in Adobe Photoshop, and this is the photo um, that I finished in Lightroom that I wanted to go ahead and work on here in uh, Photoshop with the Healing Brush Spot Removal Tool. Um, and I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the spots um, in the photo itself so you can kind of get an idea so yeah as you can see there's a lot of them in here and this is due to the uh, moisture um, from the ocean splashing up onto the lens now let's go ahead and see the photo after I worked on it and as you can see there's literally none there's no spots in this photo it is almost completely 100% spot free and uh, this would be the final rendition of that HDR I did um, at twilight. And uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here so we can kind of get the full effect. There you go. Um, so as you can see, it kind of kind of looks real crazy. Um, as I said, uh, kind of get this glass effect in terms of the ocean <clears throat> and all that haze is due to all the uh, the waves crashing and all that white. Um, that white water um, with the the reflection of the light um, just kind of shows you what type of the, what type of effect that whitewash water will get you in terms of your ocean uh, photos when you do long exposure. Also, kind of interesting. Check it out. Apparently, there's a can in this rock over here that I picked up in that long exposure. I don't know what it is, but it's a ghost can. So yes, this is the ghost can twilight photo. I'll have to figure out the, uh, finalize the title later, but this is it. Um, this is the photo that I did um, when I went out at twilight. So, hope you guys enjoy. Until next time. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Down by the beach. Down by the beach. Man, I wish I was. Down by the beach, people.